simplifying algebraic expressions. This video brings a lot of concepts together. Simplification will be broken into four general types. 1. Expanding brackets and adding like terms. 2. Simplifying fractions by cancelling, including factorization. 3. Multiplication division of algebraic terms and fractions. 4. Adding and subtracting algebraic fractions and expressing the result as a single fraction. We will go through at least a couple examples of each. Example 1. Simplify completely 3a minus 1 squared. 3a minus 1 squared is equal to 3a minus 1 multiplied by 3a minus 1. Multiplying, 3a by 3a is equal to 9a squared. 3a by negative 1 is equal to negative 3a. Negative 1 by 3a is equal to negative 3a. And negative 1 by negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Simplifying further, negative 3a minus 3a is equal to negative 6a. So we get 9a squared minus 6a plus 1. Example 2, simplify 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1, subtract x plus 2. Expand in brackets, 2 multiplied by 3x is equal to 6x. 2 multiplied by positive 1 is equal to positive 2. And we have a negative being multiplied by the bracket x plus 2 which is same as negative 1 being multiplied by x plus 2. Negative 1 multiplied by x is equal to negative x. Negative 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to negative 2. Add in like terms, 6x minus x is equal to 5x, and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have 5x as the answer. Example 3. Simplify the expression 4x squared multiplied by 3x to the fourth power, all divided by 6x cubed. Working out the numerator, 4x squared multiplied by 3x to the 4th power, 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. And remember, when we are multiplying quantities with the same base, we add the powers. So x squared multiplied by x to the 4th power is equal to x to the 6th power, 12x to the 6th power, divided by 6x to the 3rd power. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. And remember, when we are dividing quantities with the same base, we subtract their powers. So x to the 6th power divided by x to the 3rd power is equal to x to the 3rd power. 2x to the 3rd power. Example 4. Simplify x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. We have to recognize here that x squared minus 1 is the difference of squares. Thus, it is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. The x minus 1s cancel out to remain with x plus 1. Example 5. Simplify 4ab squared plus 2a squared b over ab. Recognizing that the numerator can factorize by HCF. HCF of 4ab squared and 2a squared b is 2ab. We multiply 2ab by 2b to get the first term back and we multiply it by positive a to get the second term. And we cancel. The a's can cancel and the b's can cancel to remain with 2 multiplied by 2b plus a. A sixth example, simplify a to the power 5 over 2 multiplied by b to the power 5 over 2 multiplied by the square root of ab cubed. We know that the square root of a quantity is the same as the quantity raised to the power of a half. And we know that a quantity raised to the power of a half is equal to each term in that quantity raised to the power of a half. So we have a to the power of a half and b cubed to the power of a half. We know that b cubed raised to the power of a half is the same as b to the 3 multiplied by a half. 3 multiplied by a half is 3 over 2. So we get b to the power of 3 over 2. And a to the 5 over 2 multiplied by a to the half. When we multiplying quantities with the same base, we add the powers. So we get a to the 6 over 2, which is equal to a to the third power. And then we have b to the power of 5 over 2 being multiplied by b to the power of 3 over 2. So we add the powers to get b to the 8 over 2 or b to the 4th power. Example 7. Simplify expressing your answer in the simplest form. We have 5p over 3q divided by 4p squared over q. When we are dividing fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we get 5p over 3q being multiplied by, we flip it, q over 4p squared. The q's can't cancel. And the HCF of P and P squared is P. So you divide both P and P squared by P. 
p divided by p is equal to 1 and p squared divided by p is equal to p. Multiplying the numerators we get 5 and the denominators we get 12p. This fraction cannot be reduced any further so we have our answer. Example 8. Express as a single fraction 5 over q subtract p over 3. The LCM of q and 3 is 3q. We're going to express both fractions as fractions over 3q. To get the first fraction over 3q, we need to multiply the denominator by 3. So we also multiply the numerator by 3 to keep the fraction equivalent. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. We're going to express the second fraction as a fraction over 3q as well. We need to multiply the denominator by q to get 3q, so we multiply the numerator by q as well. We get pq. Since we have both fractions expressed over the same denominator, we can just add the numerator. This fraction 15 minus pq over 3q cannot be reduced any further, so this is our answer. Example 9. Simplify x minus 3 over 3, subtract x minus 2 over 5. The LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. We're going to express both fractions over the LCM over 15. To get the fraction over 15, we need to multiply the first denominator by 5. We need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well to keep the fraction equivalent. The second fraction is multiplied by 3. So we multiply the numerator by 3 as well. We have the same denominator so we can add their numerators. Expand in brackets. We get 5x minus 15 minus 3 by x is minus 3x minus 3 by negative 2 is equal to positive 6. Add in like terms. 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x. And negative 15 plus 6 is equal to negative 9. This fraction cannot be reduced any further. And a tenth and final example. Write as a single fraction in its simplest form. 3 over x added to 4 over x plus 1. The LCM of x and x plus 1 is x multiplied by x plus 1. So we need to express both fractions as fractions over the LCM. To express 3 over x as a fraction over x multiplied by x plus 1, we need to multiply the denominator by x plus 1. So we multiply the numerator by x plus 1 as well to keep the fraction equivalent. We need to multiply the second fraction by x. The numerator becomes 4x. We have both fractions being expressed over the same denominator, so we add their numerators. Expanding brackets, we get 3x plus 3 plus 4x. Simplifying, 3x plus 4x is equal to 7x plus 3. And that is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.